Okay, the next topic we're going to cover in this week's lecture is what is a commission and how do you calculate a commission. This is really good if you get paid um, on commission or paid by a percentage of what you sell or what you earn, etc. It helps you, one, calculate how much you're going to earn for the year, for the month, for the week, etc. But you can also backtrack and you can say, well, I want to earn $100,000 a year. How much do I have to sell in order to earn that much? So a commission is a remuneration for services rendered or products sold. Printing and graphic salesmen traditionally work on a commission basis. This means that their salary is earned through the percentages they receive for jobs they bring in. Usually it's a flat rate discount. Once a salesman is established, they might have a 10% or an 8% or a 5% commission, and the only money they get paid for the entire year is a percentage of how much they sell. They don't really have a base salary after they become an established salesman. So let's go through an example. If Ed Parker sells 600 jobs in a year with a total value of $1,345,000, he will receive a certain percentage of the total sales cost. Sorry about that. The percentage can be negotiated by the salesman when he or she is hired, but let's assume for now that Ed's commission is 7%. The longer you've been with a company and the more successful you are, the more negotiating power you have. You can ask for a bigger percentage. So if we would like to calculate Ed's salary for, let's say this is for 2012, um, we need to know what 7% of $1,345,000 is. That 7% is how much he made for the entire year. If you were to complete this math problem, 7% of $1,345,000, the total amount that he would earn for that year is $94,150. We can break this down into a step-by-step -step process. Step one is to identify the total amount of goods or services sold by the salesman. So in the example on the previous slide, Ed sold $1,345,000 for the entire year. And you want to make sure that you're matching apples to apples. If the question's asking how much commission did he earn in one year, you need to make sure that the total sales are also representing one year. If it's asking how, how much money he'll make in one month, you can't do it based on $1,345,000 if it tells you that's his yearly, uh, if that's the yearly um, amount that he brought into the company. Step two, you must identify the commission rate, and the commission rate will change depending on which problem you're working on, what company you work at, who the salesman is, etc. In our problem, we've established that Ed's commission rate is 7%. And once we know the answer to step one and two, we can complete the equation of what is 10% of $1 million. And in our case, it would be what is 7% of $1,345,000, because those are the answers that we got for steps one and two. So let's go through another example here. Ed Parker sold $3,500,000 worth of printing for Jones Printing Company in 2009. His commission rate was 5% that year. How much money did he make? So step one, we must identify how much he sold, and we want to know how much he earned in the entire year of 2009, so we have to confirm that the total sales are from 2009. So the total amount that he sold in 2009 was $3,500,000. Secondly, we must identify his commission rate, in this case is 5%, and last, we can rewrite that as a problem of what is 5% of $3,500,000. Once we identify the 5% or what it equals, we can stop because that's how much he made. So we can rewrite that as a math problem instead of a word problem. 5% of $3,500,000 should be converted to 0 .05 times 3.5 million. We get 0 .05 by dividing 5% by 100 and the total amount that he made in 2009 was $175,000. If you're comfortable with this, please move on to the next slide and try the next problem.